I'm speaking to one of the top importers of Italian products. Cecilia, how do you pick the products that you select to, to represent? Anything that's special for Italy in a specific area, that's pretty much where we go and where we find the little niche producer that has a history, that has a good story, and the best qualities. Now this year, you have a product that was nominated for a Sophie Award. Tell us a little bit about this fabulous product. This is one of our many great producers. Uh, we have a grilled olive, an olive that usually doesn't come in this way. It's a fantastic Ethnean Nocellara olive from Sicily, produced in the Marca region, grilled along a long oven with spices and herbs and a little bit of olive oil. Fantastic product. We really hope that we're going to get lucky this year and win the Sophie Award. It certainly is worth it. Let's talk about some of your other wonderful products. You've got a fabulous, gigantic panettone. We'll walk over there. I smell a fabulous yeast brioche fragrance. What is that about? Well, inside of a panettone, first of all, we have ingredients that are so fresh. The yeast is a mother yeast. They don't use any kind of artificial yeast, but only mother yeast that actually was started in 1930. And they keep it living on and living on. It's a very particular process. This really makes a festive statement. Gorgeous product. This is breakfast, lunch, and dinner in my house. Tell me a little bit about the difficulties in importing dried cured meats from Italy to the States. Okay, well prosciutto is uh, what we define as a dry cure ham and uh, today we can bring from Italy prosciutto di San Daniele, prosciutto di Parma and a regular prosciutto which is neither one of them. Prosciutto is a delicacy in that sense and uh, so there is prosciutto and prosciutto as there is champagne and champagne so there are prosciutto there are more price oriented there are prosciuttos that uh, are a little bit more expensive but if you think of the cost per slice or per ounce basis that's not really a very expensive item so dried air cured meats you can bring in but tell us a little bit about what you cannot bring into the united states as i said anything that is related to fresh sausages or related to dry cured sausages such as salami and uh, although that uh, you know, lobbyists as well as uh, all the association of meat producers and uh, in Italy are trying to do it, there's still product that can only be available if produced here in the States, not from Italy. But we can enjoy wonderful prosciutto as a special delicacy and treat. Indeed. Thank you. You import some fabulous Italian products. How do you pick them? All my products, uh, um, I want to know a lot about uh, who makes them, where they are made, but I want to be also the person that uh, uses them daily in my kitchen. I want to bring to the States uh, the best products that Italy can offer. In fact, speaking of that, you have a product that this year was nominated for a Sophie Award. Tell me about that product. This product, uh, sale di cervia, salfiore di Romagna, is uh, an ancient salt that has been naturally harvested uh, for thousands of years uh, on the Adriatic Sea uh, by the Romans, uh, then it became a territory of the Pope, so it's also nicknamed uh, the salt of the Popes, and uh, I'm very happy also for, uh, you know, the producers, it's a small co-op, so it's uh, an honor. Uh, really for them also to be selected uh, for the Fancy Food Show Sofia Award. Olga, I tasted this fabulous truffle oil. Please tell me, what is the magic secret? The secret is that finally we have the real truffle oil from the real truffles, so no aromas, no synthetical uh, perfumes, but the real truffles. And today we have Christine Silverstein, from a finalist from Master Chef. What did you prepare today? Today we debuted a black truffle or bonny truffle lobster roll. It was delicious. I did it on a brioche bun. I, I dressed it with some white truffle or bonny butter. And um, I dressed the salad, the lobster salad, in some white truffle and black truffle as well, um, mayo. 
delicious, everyone is smiling. And the fabulous imported pizza. Yeah, Don Antonio is the most ancient and pizza from Naples and he came Mr. Don Antonio in person from Italy from Naples just to cook himself pizza with truffles. So truffles can go from the elegant lobster to the simple pizza. Let's talk to Don Antonio. What does it mean to bring this wonderful pizza maker here to New York? I think it's like a gift, what we do it, it's like a gift to the truffle company and uh, to Urbani to bring the Don Antonio here to make the real Napolitan pizza. It really is a gift. And do you think that truffles and pizza goes well together? La nostra venuta in uh, America era quella di far vedere la tipicità della pizza napoletana. Poi ci accoppiamo a dei prodotti che sono il mito dell'Italia e con i tartuffi pensiamo che possa andare benissimo. What is the difference between Neapolitan pizza and other pizza? No, la pizza napoletana è la base. Poi ci siamo adeguati a tutto quello che può essere una serie di innovazioni da andare a incontrare il gusto del cliente, da fare sì e ci siamo quasi riusciti che la pizza diventa il cibo maggiormente mangiato in tutto il mondo. And today we're having pizza with truffles. What kind of truffles? What did you put on top? Well, today we have a three different uh, truffle cream. It's uh, we are one porcini white truffle, pesto and uh, and truffle, and the cream and truffle. Let's taste this fabulous truffle pizza. Fresh Direct imports more than 400 fabulous Italian products. What are some of the challenges when you import a product? Well, I'll tell you. Uh, there are the points of discovery and the aha moment, and bringing those things to shore is what we really want to do. Uh, dry goods such as olive oil, pasta, some fine chocolates are easier. But when you talk about fresh items, that's where you run into some trouble. If there is distribution here in the U.S., especially in New York, that's the uh, the easy part. But if I find something that is not available uh, to the general uh, distribution channel, then I have to go about getting those things set up. What are the most popular products that Fresh Direct sells from Italy? The most popular within deli and cheese is Parmigiano, hands down, easy, the end. That's the best selling product that we have within the Italian sector. Prosciutto, uh, all sorts of prosciutti are also tremendous selling products. Something I love that is not as big, a small ball item, uh, there's some great uh, uh, Sicilian chocolates made in Aztec style from Bonajuta, uh, from Odica. Great. Who knows about this? No one, but I love to eat them and they're, they're very, very good. Anything that you're scouting during the Fancy Food Show that you're looking for to fill the shelves at Fresh Direct in the, from Italy? Well, right now I'm looking at, again, on the dry cured uh, side, I'm looking at um, uh, some prosciutto makers uh, that are going to be private branding things for us. I'm selecting the best that I can within that group and putting the Fresh Direct brand on there as found by Fresh Direct. Do you have a favorite Italian cheese that you've discovered for Fresh Direct? Well, I've discovered it for myself. I'm sure that uh, many people know about this in Italy. I don't think anyone knows about it here. It's a fresh cheese, only a, a two-month product that is uh, infused with fennel and fennel pollen, and then it's pressed with hay. It's unbelievable. Right from the field, it tastes fresh, lactic, and very fragrant. Beautiful, beautiful cheese. And we'll find that at Fresh Direct? You will find that soon at Fresh Direct because I have them shipping it to me in about a week.